Hey folks, today we are going to look in more detail on the new GPTK features with NVIDIA DLSS and NVIDIA Frame Generation. As you can see, I've tested more games, and in general, the methodology is testing all the DLSS preset settings from ultra performance to quality. The first tests are showcasing how things don't work. Half-Life with RTX and Portal with RTX do not load the RTX features by pressing Alt button and X. There was a Stellar Blade demo. As you can see, the gist of this video, the TLDW, is that as the resolution goes down, the FPS goes up. And the quality is generally okay, but on ultra performance, I found that you can start noticing the visual degradation. In general, with all my tests, I found performance or balance to be the best settings for more FPS games. Also for this video, I'll generally just have a short saying for the game, then show the raw gameplay footage per game. There's more of them. more of them show up. You secured. Rendezvous point in sight. This way! Watch out for gunners and For Black Myth, I was able to enable frame gen by doing this registry edit change. Additionally, I changed wine setting to be Windows 11. Though I got it to work, you have graphical glitches in the benchmark and in the game that make it unplayable. Mm -hmm. 
I did find out that if you do DirectX 11, you fix the graphic textures that are missing, and I test out the DLSS settings without frame gen. Someone asked me if Counter-Strike 2 runs okay without stutter. I think the answer is yes, less stutter, but see for yourself. This is testing from first load and straight to a bot game. Cyberpunk I have shown before, but here I want to showcase more the DLSS preset qualities and frames per second versus visual quality. The raw outputs are shown.
Of course, as you may know, I am addicted to Dota 2. It still is not playable, and you still would have people griefing and have to report them. On crossover, the input lag is better, and actually, the Mac version does not run at all on Tahoe. But unfortunately, as I have seen previously with crossover, you get complete freezes. Hogwarts is the same story as I showed in previous videos, and in general, the same trend we see with DLSS. As you get into performance and ultra performance, you start seeing visual artifacts, and quality and balance give you about 5 frames per second boost. Revelio. Lumos. 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 Lumos, Revelio. Marvel Rivals, unfortunately, does not run. I did get it to actually launch by switching to Windows 11 on Wine. I also found that Final Fantasy does not run. It immediately crashes. Spider-Man is the same as the other games, getting good performance boost with frame generation and good boosts with DLSS. Overall, things look good, and perhaps this will enable 60 frames per second gameplay when on Retina mode, which will look even sharper on your MacBook.
Scaring her pixel. You need a financial professional. You think I want to live in this tiny cat condo forever? Dream bigger, Natalie. You need to call a financial professional. I will. Call right meow. <laughs>